And joining her right now by Emily Baker from the Coon Rapids Bayard Crusaders. And Emily, congratulations. A nice 3-0 victory here tonight for uh, you and the girls. You guys moved to 7-2 and in conference play. Pretty good performance. What do you think stood out for you here tonight? Um, well, we when we got here, Coach threw together, changed it up a bit, put Jade as libero again, and put Shayla in as the right side. And I think she did a nice job when it was like when Brianna was out and she had to set the ball to either middle or outside. So I thought that went really well. And I think we're going to be working on that a little bit more as we approach the tournament this weekend. Do you have any idea why Coach made that change? Uh, you guys kind of started the season that way, and then you changed, and now you're trying to change it back a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not really sure his thoughts on that one. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about how you played tonight. Uh, got a few swings in the middle and the outside. How did you feel swinging tonight? Um, I thought it went pretty well, like, um, we put up the middle net last night, and we played a little six-on-six, six and I felt pretty good after the practice. So I, coming into this game, I felt pretty good, and then my serving went really well, and I'm pretty pleased with that. I thought that was the difference tonight. You and Brianna kind of took your teams on some service runs here tonight, Marissa as well. Uh, what did you see from the defense? Where were you guys trying to attack with your serves? Um, I mixed it up quite a bit. I did shorts and longs as best I could, and I think that really helped us get back at the game in the third match. So, yeah, that really helped our team out a lot, I think, get back in the game. Fell down there in game three. What were they doing different in game three? Because you guys kind of controlled games one and two. Um, yeah, I think we really got after it in one and two, and then they were ready to go on the third game. So that we got down a little bit, but right right in the middle of the game we punched it in and with the finish so I'm what do you think was the difference there what turned game three around do you think um I think every the seniors noticed we were a little low in the energy so they got us back up and then we got some service runs I got up the points so that really helped Emma, I know your sister Hannah listening here tonight so uh what would you like to tell your sister um hi Hannah I miss you so much and I'm glad you could listen to it. So. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what, we appreciate you joining us here tonight. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you for having me. You bet. Absolutely. Congratulations on the win here tonight. Thank you. You bet. Emily Baker here tonight. Let's get uh, Jenna Byers if we can get Jenna's attention. So, you bet. Emily Baker joining us here. I see Jenna was down here a moment ago. We'll see if maybe we can get Jenna up here and uh, get her into an interview here tonight. And then We'll try to catch up with both coaches as well. And Jenna, appreciate you joining us here tonight. I don't want to tap you on that shoulder because I don't know how sore it is tonight. But you and I talked a little bit before the match tonight. You said the shoulder bothering you a little bit. But I tell you what, I couldn't tell that with the way you went out and swung tonight. Uh, swung tonight. Yeah, I mean, kind of hurt it over the weekend. But i um, been resting it mostly. Kind of took it easy in practice yesterday and got this tape on it. So just been taking it easy and so that we could play hard tonight. And, you know, it felt pretty decent actually and so I was pleased. Got you down for about nine kills so you're somewhere in that area tonight. How did you feel like you swung at the net and talk <laughs> about what you saw looked like a lot of times Cooner Rapids Baird kind of single blocking you guys out of the middle so uh, what were you seeing how were you thinking about attacking? Um, well in practice I realized that I was um, taking pretty large steps and getting pretty tight on the net and so I was going out so I really focused on shortening up my strides today and I think that worked to Help me get a better angle down, and I think that um, the blocks in the middle definitely made an impact, and we just didn't have the best coverage, and maybe we need to just learn from that and fix it the next time, and we'll see what happens. Now, I didn't see you or that mouth these words, but I saw a few of your players tonight on, on tough serves or something look over at coach and say, it happens all the time. Can you kind of tell us what maybe what's happening with the girls and what's happening with you girls maybe sometimes that you guys feel like you're kind of making some of those same mistakes uh, now yeah. as you were making earlier this year? Well, definitely earlier in the year we were having a tougher time um, with ball control and getting the passes up, but um, lately we had been doing all right, and today I think we just had a tougher time getting the ball up. They had some decent servers going, and I think communication was um, something that we needed to do a little bit better, and so... Maybe if we talked a little more and had our ball control up, we might have had a different result tonight. But, you know, it was a combination of multiple things. How did you feel like you were able to uh, block tonight at the net with the opportunities you had? Um, I think I got up there a few times. I don't know how many blocks I actually had. But, um, you know, I think they were they did a good job of hitting. And I think we could have we could have got a couple more blocks in if we would have read it a little better. But, I mean, it was all right. 
got the conference tournament coming up yet this weekend. Uh, what's kind of the goal of this team in that tournament with uh, postseason starting next week? Well, we've seen everybody so far, and we know we basically know how they're going to play and what they're going to do, and we just need to take that on with us into the game and just use the knowledge we know about it and use that to our advantage to play against them. Well, I tell you what, Jen, I appreciate you joining us here Thank tonight. You. Great effort tonight. Keep up the good work, and maybe we'll see you down in uh, Elkhorn this weekend. Okay, sounds good. You Thank bet. you. Jenna Byers again joining us here in the post game for Peyton Chardin. We'll get uh, Rich Baker uh, from uh, Coon Rapids Bear to join us here now. And Coach Baker hustling his way over here. And Coach, we talked to one of your daughters tonight. We understand your other daughter are listening here tonight. Oh, so, yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. Big shout out to Hannah. Absolutely. Family affair here tonight. Yeah. One six point seven. Your team picked up a 3 0 victory tonight. I thought the difference kind of the serve. I think you guys served a little bit more consistently and got some runs tonight. What did you see as the difference in the match tonight? You know, that's where we had been struggling a little bit. We've been letting teams go on four or five, six point runs where tonight I thought we were able to, to limit that to a couple points and get the side out. I, I thought our passing was very good tonight, um, which obviously leads to very good setting. And I thought our hitting was exceptional tonight. Not a lot of errors. Uh, and the girls are placing it well. I mean, I can say something great about every girl tonight. Um, whether it was, you know, Marissa reading that middle block. I mean, they've got two great middle hitters. Yep. And they were going to them, and they could cut the ball. So we talked about getting low and, and digging the ball up. And then, of course, Jade moved her back to libero, and she's running down balls. I thought Caitlin went at uh, hit the ball well, had a couple big blocks that kind of break their rallies, that helped. I mean, Taylor had great timely hitting, um, was picking her spots and changing it up, and then Tierra was a outside hitter tonight. She played within herself, putting the ball in, making them scramble, and it, and it really worked. And then Brianna was getting that ball tighter to the net, which I think helped our setting and allowed us to do a few different things. So if I miss somebody, I apologize, but I thought it was a great overall team effort we we did a look. We had a new look tonight, and the girls just stepped up and played really well. Coach, uh, you kind of went back to the old look, you guys. This was the lineup kind of on the floor the first match of the year. What made the change here late in the season to kind of go back to an earlier lineup? Well, a little bit different. Uh, we moved Tierra outside and brought Shayla in, and we just wanted a better block, uh, and you know, a little more. We change up at hitter, uh, get the ball in, make them play it, and then of course, you know, Jade's a Jade's the sideline to sideline the barrel, so that really helps our floor defense. And you know, yesterday the we 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 got we the floor was a little cleaner after practice than when we came in. We really worked on our floor defense, so and I'm proud of the way the girls practiced yesterday. And well, you must have helped them out because you had some floor burns. Yeah, on I know. I, I'd like to demonstrate, but I'm, I'm getting a little old for that. I might have one of you two guys come down and show that. <laughs> Coach, uh, you guys got conference tournament coming up now this weekend. You guys sitting right now right behind uh, Xyro, Crane, Kibble, and Glenn Ralston, depending how they did tonight uh, in that uh, regular season conference race. So tournament championship, probably a goal for Saturday? Sure it is. You know, last year uh, we, we placed second, and I think going in, you know, we wanted to show, you know, we're we're not down and out. We're, we're here to battle and play, and, um, you know, last year the girls responded, and I'm expecting the same thing this year, and we'll keep practicing hard, and and we look forward to uh, the tournament on Saturday for sure to get maybe a little uh, little revenge for some earlier season losses. Well, I tell you what, Coach, appreciate All you right. joining us here tonight. Thanks, Congratulations. Thanks for bringing this guy. Nice to see him. Absolutely. All Absolutely. Right. Head Coach Rich Baker again from Coon Rapids, Maine. We'll get John Johnson, the head coach uh, from Peyton Chardin, to join us here in a moment. And John now joining us here. And, John, uh, get you to slide just a little bit closer to the court there so Lonnie can get you on the video here. Right. But, uh, coach, a tough 3-0 loss here tonight. Played much better in that third game. A uh, little bit of a struggle. I thought serve, receive, and serve as airs uh, really hurt you in games one and two. Yeah, we did. Uh, I think the girls, you know, we wanted to play so well tonight, <laughs> this last match. And I think, uh, you know, you're right. The passes were kind of off all night. Um, when we were set up, when we did get the passes up, we got really nice swings yeah. from uh, Megan and Jenna and Grace. And Faith had some nice swings. But you're right, the, the passing just was not there. I thought, actually thought we started with the pass not too bad, 
Um, and we had a lot of hitting errors towards the start. But the girls came out swinging, which that's actually the first time all year where we've really come out and tried to be super aggressive at the start. You know, that didn't work out in our favor as, as far as some hits out of bounds, but I love the fact that we came out swinging. That's that's it. It, and it, it looked to me at times like maybe the girls were wanting to play a little faster than what they were as well. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We've been working on that a lot lately. Um, but you're right, the, the passes weren't there. A lot of missed serves at the 